Hello, welcome to Quality Food Safety 101 and our HACCP series continues. Today is a very important step in our HACCP series. Today we'll talk about the flow diagram, which is the fourth step within the HACCP logic sequence and the on-site verification of the same flow diagram, which is the fifth step in our HACCP logic sequence. So today we'll cover two of the steps uh, within the HACCP logic sequence. So let's get into the details of flow diagram and its on-site verification. When we think of flow diagram, think about an AutoCAD drawing for a big building. It has all the details of the construction of the building up to the T and if there's a mistake in the drawing, it will obviously reflect in the final building as well. The same importance is the flow diagram for a HACCP plan. In the flow diagram, if we construct it properly, the HACCP plan will be very well established. It will cover all the hazards and control measure as well. So what are the key elements of flow diagram? We'll talk about it now. The HACCP team has the responsibility of making a proper detailed flow diagram without any mistakes. And these are the elements which needs to be considered in the flow diagram. The flow diagram needs to include all the steps of the process. It does not need to have the name of the equipment, but it needs to have the process steps. So for example, we can we don't need to say chiller or chiller number one we need to say chilling or chilled storage as a process step then all the steps should be numbered in a sequence manner it can include some details like like temperatures for example if we have a chiller we can mention the temperature of that chiller as, as well if we have a uh, you know step of cooking we can mention the target temperature of cooking as well it should not list down the detailed activities or equipment because equipments can change and activities are not required in a flow diagram. It's a flow diagram is not a work instruction basically. There are two popular methods of making a flow diagram. One of the most popular method is a linear flow diagram, which is basically uh, a straightforward representation of the process in a single line from starting with the purchasing or receiving of the raw material up till the final product dispatch it's a linear flow diagram and you can see it on your screen as well now in this kind of flow diagram uh, or actually in all the flow diagram we need to make sure that the stages where the rework or waste are being generated these need to be present as well in the flow diagram now this is one type of the flow diagram and the another type of flow diagram is a modular flow diagram in which if the process is complicated and, ha and has sub stages or sub parts of the process we create each process in a module and link them together and this flow diagram which is on your screen is showing a representation of a modular flow diagram but in both of these cases you can see that there's a flow of the process and in both of these cases if somebody uh, follows the flow diagram they can understand it they can uh, pretty much you know uh, understand the process and go through the whole detail of the process the importance of the flow diagram just to reiterate is that it is the foundation of the has plan if there's a mistake or the or if there's a step which is missed in the flow diagram it will be meaning that the hazard analysis of that step is also missed as well so just to summarize the discussion, the flow diagram needs to cover all the steps. It should be numbered. It does not need to include details or it does not need to include equipment names. And it should include rework and waste stages as well uh, so that they are covered in the hazard analysis. So this is all about the flow diagram. Now let's go to the next stage, which is the fifth step and the second part of the today's video, which is about the on-site verification of the flow diagram. Now this is very, very important. And in uh, a lot of HACCP plans, this is just a tick mark exercise, but it should not be that way. How we do the on-site verification of the flow diagram, let's talk about that. Since the flow diagram is such an important tool to do the next stages of the whole HACCP plan, which are the hazard analysis and CCP and other principles of the HACCP, the 
on site verification of flow diagrams become very very crucial it is done uh, by very simply taking the flow diagram and walking the process to making sure that the flow diagram has been made accurately now there are some tips which i want to give you here number 1 use unfamiliar eyes do not use the same people who have made the flow diagram because they will think that their work is correct so always give it to some new people some people who are not part of the hasap team or who are not part of the same group who made the, that particular flow diagram and let them verify it tip number 2 always verify the process in different different timings different shifts and different days to make sure that everybody follows the same process in the same way this is crucial so let's suppose if i am making a particular cake in the morning shift and the same cake is being made in the night shift also we need to verify both the timings so so that we verify that with the change of the shift and with the change of the manpower or the or the supervisor the process is not changing so this is very crucial so the tip number 2 is to verify in different timings and with different uh, you know shifts as well once you do that and the team members who are responsible for verifying the flow diagram they sign the flow diagram that flow diagram is uh, you know recorded as completed flow diagram ready for the next stage but however if there are some loopholes or if there are some mistakes we need to go back and re make the flow diagram do amendments and then re verify it uh, through on site review or on site confirmation at the end of the step number 5 our flow diagram is ready to use for the next stage which is the step number 6 and the first principle of hasap which is hazard analysis we'll talk about hazard analysis in the next video please uh, subscribe to our channel uh, we need your support and uh, this channel as 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 i've been saying all the time is free information for everybody share the videos to whoever is interested in food safety uh, hasap and we have other uh, you know playlists which are about covid-19 as well so spread the knowledge See you in the next one.